So would you like to know why I haven't been working on this puzzle? Because we've been working on the guest bedroom and we got it done. So I'm going to take you step by step through what it looked like before and during and now after the progress that we've made in that room. I almost got sucked into the black hole of starting something else this morning, but I really wanted to get this video out because so many people have been saying, are you finished with the room yet? Are you finished with the room yet? And yes, we are. So here we go. So here's what the room looked like when we first bought this house. Uh, just random stuff hanging on the walls, no bedspread, uh, a sea of yellow. And of course, the closets were just horrendously stuffed with all kinds of crap. You can see this is where we cleaned it out back in May. I donated all those decorations. And so that gave us a clean slate to start with. And then here's uh, the video that I took in the room prior to really starting any projects. Uh, just recently, we left the old carpet in there. This dresser we're changing out, putting in our bedroom because it matches the rest of the furniture in our room, uh, which of course is horrendous looking, but I'll get that painted later. And here's the bed. The best feature in this room by far are the beautiful mirrored closet doors, which really helps to make the room look a lot bigger. Um, of course, we wanted to get rid of the what I consider to be super ugly vertical blinds. And uh, yeah. And also, we need to get rid of that little very glam lampshade on that really small lamp in the corner. And here is the horrible looking bed that was just, um, maybe somebody found it on the side of the road. I don't know, and thought it would look good in there. And of course, here is the carpet, which had once been in the living room of this house, but it was just uh, installed in that bedroom just laid in there. So here is another shot of the room and also with Seamus in there. He's kind of camouflaged because it's so yellow. So here is starting out in the closet before and after I've started painting. It made an immediate improvement in the room. You can see just halfway across the wall here, the yellow is starting to disappear and it is starting to take on more of a white color. This white had more blue in it than I anticipated, but that's okay. Um, and you can see, yeah, there was still some more yellow to paint. But then um, once we got the painting done, we had to pull out the carpet and of course, peel all of the little paint pieces off the wall. But once that was done, Tim was cleaning up and ready to start laying the floor in that room. And here you can see, He's already at it. He worked for an entire day tirelessly laying the floor in that room and it just made such an improvement right away and made the room just kind of come to life. And here it is all laid down. We were able to pull up the closet track and uh, clean it, paint it, and it came out like new. In the meantime, I was painting the furniture out in the Florida room so that we could put it in there. And I was also cleaning and repapering the drawers of this dresser, which had been in our room. For whatever reason, every drawer in this dresser had a different kind of old paper in it. So here's, here's Seamus's claim to fame. He's always encouraging us, always uh, at our side. So here he is for you. So um, then I pulled up the old contact paper in the closet and Tim applied some trim molding to the edges and that made it look really good. We painted it and then I got the new paper in there and this makes it seem like it was such a quick job, but of course it wasn't. So here's the room prior to putting up the curtains. And by the way, if you want your curtains to look nice, yeah, you have to iron them. These curtain shears I got for $5 a panel at Family Dollar. They're really nice. They're 84 by 59 inches and ironed and put up. They look beautiful, I think. So there they are. You can still see that hmm, window behind it, but we're just going to deal with that. And then we got the bed put together and back in. And voila, 
here we go. Enjoy this little tour of the room. So you'll notice there's nothing hanging on the wall yet. I don't want to mess up the walls until I am sure that what I want to hang up in there is what I want to have hanging up in there. So we'll be working on that. So I might take some time to work on this puzzle now. And it's a really pretty puzzle. I borrowed it from the puzzle lending library here at the park. Or I might just press on. We'll see. Thanks for watching.